Okay, so we're checking out the only game where everyone can have a party, dab on each other, and then go to prison for life. It's the Henry Stickman Collection. So we worked our way through all of Ellie's stuff, uh, so now it's bro time with Charles. Charles is the first and last wingman that you ever need. He's the kind of guy that would crash his helicopter into the girl's friend at the bar, which means he's perfect for this. We're getting a double helping of Charles this time. Let's do this. Epic flashbacks, everyone. Get used to that helicopter, because we're probably going to be seeing it hey, a lot. Girl. Ah, perfect timing, boys. We've discovered that the remainders of the Topak clan have been seen building some kind of rocket. Help us out with this one, and you'd be, we'd be owing you a big, big ol' favor. Now, you and Charlie have worked well together in the past, so we figured you'd be the perfect <laughs> men for this operation. Yeah, what do you say, Henry? Gotta grab all the bios I can. Us, General. I already have Gale really Force's bio, on so... All right, everyone, we're ba we're breaking into the phallus house. I know uh, we just started and all, but uh, I think I'm getting targeted by a sand turret. Yeah, oh yeah. You can just go ahead and uh, How did we miss it on the way in? Henry has like size three feet. How is he gonna stomp on it? I both want to know and I don't want to know. Also, this cupcake sounds disgusting. I hovered over it by accident. Oh, it's like stepping on a watermelon. All right, let's stomp this. Bit. Yeah. It's gonna work, Henry! <laughs> oh, it did work. I- part of me thought maybe his foot would get really big and he would stomp it, but instead, just through sheer determination, he forced it to face the ground. On the plus side, Charles is totally still alive. Normally, I'd go in order, but honestly, this cupcake is so juicy, I have to click on it. I'm kind of curious what we're gonna do, though. Are we gonna give the turret diabetes? The power of Wilford Brimley compels you! Wow. Charles's entire life can be tallied up to the value of one single cupcake. My parents said they would never let me become an artist, but now I'm going to show them the power of drawing. That's about the skill I have as well. <laughs> that was holy clouds I totally worked. Did, but, uh, I got like a little seems to have done the trick. I should be able to get you in there with this. Hold on, I have to go back real quick just to see what the panel would do. I just realized there's supposed to only be red and blue wires. They're throwing me a freaking curveball with the black and yellows. All right, let's see here. Just pull everything. That's what I would have done. So, it kind of looks like the sand turret's shooting all of its missiles, but that can't be right. I just wanted to make sure. Maybe he's okay. <laughs> I think he would have survived the first dozen. It was that last explosion that did him in. Ooh, strap in. Anytime I get inside of anything with rockets on it, I always end up regretting it, which means it's the perfect choice. Hey, it's your Uber driver here. I'm outside. By the way, this continues to prove me right. Anytime there's anything with rockets, you can't pick it or you die. I think the key to winning every time is to always pick the thing that has the least amount of drawing involved. Also, I realize this invisible bridge does a sh job whenever I hover over it. Alrighty, I've uh, teleported that platform in there for you. Yeah, cause I can tell. Make your way across then. This is gonna be it, yep. I was gonna say, this is gonna be his vengeance from when we killed him. I guess the winner is trapeze, but this is gonna be some Spider-Man level trapezing going on here. Alright, Henry, uh, go ahead and grab onto the, the thing, and then I'll helicopter you across. Oh, I didn't know I was gonna get help from a helicopter. That, I'm actually not really doing any work. Oh man. Fill like with beer. Room. I love oh, these guys. Here. Hold on. Uh, Who's this guy in the room, back? You can shut down the engine and then uh, the rocket won't be able to I need to know who those guys were. They'll all be stuck in here. I'll cause a distraction while you make a run for it to the engine room, got it? I've got a case full of Bud Light and three different ways to ruin everyone's life. Although, hold on, I need to know something real quick. I was wondering who was choking out this stick figure called Stu Pendles, but it was apparently this female stick figure over here named Carol Cross. I'm gonna be really unsatisfied if there's not a stick figure in here somewhere named Karen. All right, it's time for your regularly scheduled TV broadcast filled with white noise and bad choices. That is a big ass TV. Where are we getting the money for hey guys, this? Guys, come check this out. Someone's streaming TV out here. Getting a sick, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs>
damn it. Carol Cross is also really tall. Don't mind me just getting these guys too, which apparently have bios. If there's one thing I love doing, it's liquefying stick people or make them violently poop. <laughs> These two guys got flattened in on themselves. Oh, look at the bodies. They're all like little chalk outlines, except for this dude who scorpioned on themselves. What the hell is this? Is this like the reject version of the Top Hat Robocop? Get him, Robo Reject. I, I have one of these aboard. I think I can remote hack into it. Yeah. Look at me. I am uh a dancing robot. Oh, yeah. Check me out. That robot's a lot better than I thought it would be. Do not get distracted by other things. Uh, it's so good at its job. Hit that engine room in no time. I guess this rocket has an internal engine room. It probably like manages the electronics or something. I don't know. I'm not a rocket doctor. Anyways, do your thing, buddy. Charles, you're not a rocket doctor, but my plans for this room involve a wrench, a red herring, and a power button. Do you hear me, Charles? A literal red herring. I've got one tool in my toolbox, and it's a hammer that looks a lot like a wrench. Yeah, just beat it. There you go. That's what the engineer would do. See it leveled up. The engine is ready sooner than we thought it'd be. This doesn't seem right. Bye, Charles. With this wrench out of the way, I know this red herring is like, don't you touch me. Shut up, herring. Get in there. Do your thing. Seems like we're having oh, totally worked. problems with the engine. Shouldn't we be helping the engine? These are bios as well in the background. Now, here's what I'm thinking. If you can get up to the cockpit. Yeah, there we go. Control the rocket, disable it, and lock everyone inside. It's a pretty good plan, right? <laughs> this guy's top hat is like compensating for something. It's thinner and longer than everyone else's hat. All right, real quick, we do have to try the power button. Obviously. Uh, okay, that one I'm blaming on Charles because he could have kept that helicopter anywhere and he kept it right in the path of the ultimate death galactic laser. Mr. Skyscraper. I needed to know the stick figure's stage name. It's like his adult film performance name. Time to use the swapper. Although I'm not sure I really want to swap with any of these people. Instantly swap places with anyone. I use it every day. It's great. Okay. Oof. What? Oh. It's that went so up. smooth, I can't believe it. I'm like two for two. Did you fix Hi, the engine? Sven. Well, hold it right there. Wait a minute. I know you. You're the guy that arrested the airship division. And now you're here to bring down the rest of us. Henry, are you in trouble? If you're in trouble, say flank steak. No, wait. If you're in trouble, say nothing. Say yeah, flank steak. Oh, actually, I can see it from here. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Hold on, before you IR sniper Sven Svensson over here, I need to know something. Can't get through this without failing. I really want to do the painting portal, but I want to go through the portal with the guy with the blind shades from 1989. No, not that guy! The mischievous Mexico. boss. Oh, am I going into a completely separate hey. game? Stick figure's worst nightmare is a three-fourths view video game. Mmm, bug juice. This will turn the user into a bug. It doesn't really specifically say what bug you turn into. What kind of weak ass juice was that? You're only a bug long enough to regret your purchase. All right, Sven, go to sleep so I can violate your ship. One sleepy boy coming right up. Do you, do you need that cannon long, to make him sleep? To find it. And now, of course. Really? All right, baby, when you hear the clown horn, you know someone's going to prison. <laughs> that was not the same sound okay, that the horn sounded. <laughs> the horn sounded like the game. Now you just gotta lock it up. All right, time to call in the reinforcement. Mission complete, but I still need one more fail left. Nice work, man. Yeah, this is a uh, this is every last remaining member getting hauled off. Fine work indeed, boys. You two really do make a fine team. I'm promoting you both into special covert ops agents. What? Henry's not even enlisted. Well, he is now, unless he doesn't want it. You'll be running a lot more missions together with Charlie.
By running a lot more missions, you mean I'll be riding on the landing gear of his helicopter? There's plenty of space in here. Why can't I just sit next to him like a normal stick? We gotta use the IR sniper, obviously. There's only two options here, so Charles has a 50-50 shot of screwing this up, and we already know that the horn did it, so I guess I'm getting sniped. I got the sniper that spots out bad guys. So I'll just take him out from here. Don't worry, then. There's zero chance that I'll hit you with this. Yeah, my hands are up. Uh oh, I'm losing control. Oh boy, this is bad. This is really oh, oh boy. Oh man, and I dropped my sniper rifle. Come on. I almost got control. Almost got it. Ah, oh, there we go. No, no, I'm. Okay, never mind. That, that that ended up being a lot worse than I thought it would. I thought I was going to die. I remember when I abandoned Ellie over in fleeing the complex, it said she will remember this. So I'm kind of wondering if she's going to come back and stab me. It's okay. You'll be there for me, won't you, Charles? You better be there for me. This is a Code 12 broadcast. The remnants of the Top Hat Clan have been seen mobilizing near the Dogo Bogo jungle. Rumors are they are attempting to launch an orbital satellite of some kind. Unconfirmed reports are telling us they are shipping their assets by train to this base in the jungle. These assets include all treasures and artifacts they have stolen throughout the years. Now these treasures are worth quite a lot of money, so we gotta make sure... I'm clearly paying attention to this. No, no stowaways here. This is Checkpoint Inspection Team 5. We are all clear. Uh, roger that. We'll be heading out here in just a second. Out of every possible train car I could have went for, I picked the one filled with hats. Did you see their previous loot? There's like Spartan helmets and stuff. And look at this hat. It's like a small hat. No one likes small hats. I guess we'll go from left to right, but the last time I used a box, it didn't turn out well for me. I got used as a card table, like for eternity. All right, Snake, try not to get cancer this time. Well, I suppose we should hop in, eh? Fits like a glove. How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the cut just to be safe. <laughs> Damn it, I thought it was gonna be just like when we stowed away with the money bag. Never underestimate laziness. I had to pretend to be a box in front of the two jackasses that don't take their job seriously. Now there's gonna be a bunch of cronies without their hats. Who's gonna explain that one? I feel like using a hat against the top hat clan is kind of redundant, but whatever. Well, I suppose we should hop in. Yeah, it's bath time. All right, I'll get the door. Throwing up gang signs from inside the top hat. Hell yes. You were standing right Someone next there. To hey, you there. Clearly, I should have taken that hat with me. I have to try the other fail that's left, but I have to mention too, is this guy's head just really big or is his hat really small? Considering the hats are the only article of clothing that they wear, I kind of wonder what the conversations are like. Like this dude is always like, hey, does this hat make my head look big? Yes. Yes, it does. All right, let me go ahead and super glue some lettuce leaves to myself and try this. Well, I suppose we should hop in. Uh, it's about time. Hey, was that bush always there? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll give it the test. What's the test? <laughs> you sick bastard! Oh, it was a fake. Smokey the Bear's gonna remember that, you dick. Also, what the hell was my prop made out of? Rayon? I just got inside to train and now I'm going outside to train. Whatever. Henry takes a lot of shots to the head. I'm kind of surprised he doesn't have any sort of lasting brain damage. Oh, shit. Okay, now he has lasting brain damage. Ah, uh, the still mannequin. This is like an animator's best friend. Whoa, check out this crazy coat rack. Oh, look at me. I'm a little hat holder person. Ooh, can I take your hat? Ooh, I wonder what's out the window. <laughs> ah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> also, apparently, stickmen don't bleed. For real, his head didn't get crushed. It got ripped off his body. This guy looks concerned. This guy is just like, hat. Sitting down without a hat on this train is like a death sentence, I would imagine. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I was saving that seat for my friend. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, there you are. Yeah, no, no this guy just... Please, no! 
from the top down, he looked so certain, but this face says otherwise. All that Photoshop experience finally worked out. All right, lads, train's here. Let's get everything packed up before it gets too late. Am I stowed away inside of the beer cooler? There's no beer in there. I mean, I guess it's once airborne. God, I want this helmet. But first I have to die in two additional ways. Wait, what? 78 degrees, huh? <laughs> Henry Stickman is dressed, yes! You close the window, I hate you and your mustache. See this, Henry? This is what happens when you slide in and out too many times. All right, Infinity Cube, I've never had a pocket dimension treat me poorly, so I'm assuming this will work out well. Oh, we are taking the helmet! Yes, finally! All right. <gasps> this is why you don't buy things used. God damn you, Craigslist. Everyone's always like, oh yeah, zero hours, like new. Anytime I've done anything so far involving nature, it's turned out really bad for me. I'm expecting Oops. nothing less here. Uh-oh. Oh. I mean, technically we're all leaves now. I should have known that my salvation comes with the suck pack. It certainly does suck. Give me all your loot! Oh, hell yeah. There's like a gold-plated AK in there. This place is completely sucked clean. There's one car left. Yeet! Ellie never stabbed me in the back from here. I never had any repercussions from her. It's fantastic. Okay, everyone. Today's the day. It's empty in here. <laughs> Holy God! There's a gold plated toilet! I love how one of the priceless possessions is Conker's bed for a day. Well, we did it. We ended up literally stealing everything. Jesus, I'm using diamonds as crown molding. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Henry Stickman collection. <laughs> Until next time, stay foxy, much love. <laughs>